Best part of my job is the coffee. You know, getting coffee from the source and connecting. I love supply chain. I love that. It's, you know, I love roasting it and I love all that. And I love, I love giving it to people and seeing their faces when they get a good cup of coffee. My name is Bryce Rozelle. I'm the owner, head roaster of Open Seas Coffee in Stevensville, Maryland. We are a small batch coffee roastery. We've been in operation for two and a half years now. You know, we're surrounded by water. We live on an island. And so that really just felt like it connected home with the local community. When you're on a road, you get on and you go where it takes you. You don't have a lot of say over your direction or your path. When you get on a boat, when you're in the water, you can really go any direction you want. And for me, I wanted to do business in a little less traditional way. Open Seas really played into the heart of that. So I got into coffee um, while my family and I were living in Southeast Asia, in Laos. And while we were there, my wife made really good friends with a girl whose family were coffee farmers. There's a market for specialty coffee, and our friends in Laos were doing everything best practice. Shade grown, hand picked, natural fertilizers. But we have coffees from, I'll just look around the room and, and tell you, we have coffees from Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Brazil, Colombia, uh, Ethiopia, Rwanda, uh, Burundi, Guatemala, Sumatra, Laos, yeah, really all throughout the world. My experience with Queen Anne's County Department of Economic Development has been incredibly positive. Um, they've been responsive and supportive from the first phone call. We were really in need of a, a larger roaster, a 10 kilo roaster, and we were able to partner with the uh, Queen Anne's County Economic Development Incentive Fund um, to acquire that bigger roaster and help us uh, really grow to a sustainable point as a business. We partnered with uh, SCORE uh, Chapter 670 in Chestertown. The amount of advice and depth of knowledge there, even for you know similar but different industries, um, I was really, I've been really pleased with that council. Queen Anne's County has been good for our business on a lot of levels. Learning the ropes of what I need to set up, how do I run a food business uh, in a healthy way. The health department came out, gave me advice of how to do that properly and be safe. They were wonderful to work with. And then we're, we're right on Route 50, so I, you know my business runs from Ocean City, Southern Delaware, uh, up and down the Eastern Shore into DC, Baltimore, uh, Northern Virginia. Let's see, I'm gonna geek out here a little bit now. Uh, coffee grows as a cherry, and what we roast and then consume is the seed of that cherry. So as coffee is processed, you have to remove the seed from from all the rest of it, and uh, the, how, you, how you do that affects the flavors in the coffee. But from the roasting side, when we get it, when everybody's done almost 12 months of labor properly, and apply heat to help create new cha chains of sugars in the coffee that will bring out different flavor notes and different uh, types of sweetness. And you do that through different amounts of heat and different types of heat through conductive and convective heat. My coffee is sold locally at Bada Bean. It is, uh, our espresso is sold at Waterman Joe. You can find coffee through uh, shops we partner with, um, as well as through our website, which is openseascoffee.com. Uh, orders can be placed through there. <laughs> I'm a sucker for the coffee. <laughs>